What's up with it, folks? This is your boy Trucker Rob checking in What's on the up? YouTube channel. Trucker Rob. Welcome to the channel. I am David H. I am your host. Let's sit back and enjoy this video from Trucker Rob, uh, formerly known as Prime Trucker Rob. He's, uh, this video is about, uh, was leaving Prime the right move? I don't know, Rob. I left Prime back in um, July, early July. I'm not ready to reveal whether it's the right move or not yet. So let's see what you have to say. Good. This video is going to be, was leaving Prime the right move? back let's get right into it like welcome said, back rob. rob coming in warning the views expressed in this video are not meant to offend anybody these videos have been collected from various platforms we don't have any rights over these videos these videos are my reactions and opinions if you are really sensitive this channel may not be meant for you if you are not already a subscriber, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Once you click that subscribe button, you're going to see that bell notification. Also known as like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. All right, so what's up, guys? So uh, to catch a lot of people up today, I don't know if anybody's been watching my previous YouTube live videos or anything of that nature but yes it is i have left prime i left prime as of the beginning of february um and ever since then i've been over here at jb hunt running the i've left prime at the beginning of july lower board with a sfi truck a 2022 freightliner with just shy of thirty thousand miles on it so right now i'm sitting at 30 30, 34,000 miles on. Oh, you ain't put many miles on. Now, what is that, a week? Two today, weeks? I mean, this is actually about to be week three. I'm sitting here okay. taking Two a weeks. 34 at the Houston terminal, uh, JB Hunt terminal. You've been there two weeks. Okay, I can see you're excited. You want to get a video out, but can you really give an honest opinion on just two weeks of work in there? I'd like to see an update video of uh, what it's like, uh, what was that, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, six months? And let me just, just go saying. ahead and say, as far as the terminals and the facilities come, Prime has it beat. I, I will say Prime does have the terminals beat, but as far as it comes to where you, uh, where you know you're making money. Yeah, I, I'll agree with you there, Rob. Prime does have some pretty good facilities. What do we got? Springfield's got everything you need. Basketball courts, chiropractic uh, office, uh, doctor's office, a movie theater, cafe, everything you need there. Repair shop, wash, quick lube. So yes, Springfield Prime is awesome. Pittston Prime's pretty damn good, except the park in there sucks. Salt Lake City, they rebuilt it. It's pretty nice too. Prime does have nice facilities. I'll give them that. Now, the company I'm working for, you should see the digs there. Well, wait, they ain't got any. Hmm. You ain't going to be worried about what these facilities look like. Long as the cha-ching. Oh, my God. Damn straight. Look at them hands. Look, look at these hands. The cha still coming in. I believe everything. Hey, Rob. What the hell are you doing, bro? You're freaking cleaning your what? Boogers out of your eyes on camera? Why are you using the camera as a mirror, man? <laughs> I hope I've never done that. I can see you doing that, too, because I know I wipe things all the time on my face. But, dude, don't use your camera as your mirror when you're making a video. <laughs> About these facilities would not matter. So. <laughs> Yeah, it would not matter to me. So I'm really not even worried about it. But let's get to the topic of the video. Sorry for... Yes. The we don't care about your messy track. I take my clothes out last night to do some laundry. And I just came back to the truck and passed out. So let's get to the topic of the video. Was to me, was I think did I did I think leaving Prime was the right idea? In my opinion, leaving well. Prime was the right idea. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I ain't gonna 
Prime is a good company. I ain't gonna fault Prime for being a good company. Prime was a good company. Since I left Prime, I can really talk now. <laughs> Since you left Prime, you can really talk now. I know exactly how you feel. You know, it's like you feel free. You can say anything you want about them and not have to worry about, well, why am I sitting around? Because they're pissed off at you. Yeah, Prime's a good company. They're a great uh, uh, learning company, a great place to get your CDL. You give them a year or 10 months if you're uh, in the military. Or is it nine months for you in the Anyways, figure a year um, and you get your CDL for free. Then all you got to do is run that year out. After that, get your, you know, if you still need a little more experience, get it there and then move on. Get get over to a company that pays uh, better. Now, a lot of people stay at Prime. I always wondered that. How come there's all these million milers here? What's the deal? Well, a lot of people, they, you know, they're comfortable there. They make enough money. They don't want to work any harder. And when I say work harder, I mean, Prime's got your last mile. You know, they give you the last mile directions to get from the freeway to the customer. You don't get that at other places. They got that snazzy app. Not everyone has that snazzy app. You know, uh, uh, they got some things that they got Abacus right there in the building there that will just do all your taxes for you. Get it right from Prime. Not everyone does that. So, you know, a lot of people will stay there just because they eat how easy it is to stay there. Prime was a good company until my last week at Prime. I got yeah. so much SHIT from my fleet manager. And that was really? like the worst week I ever had at Prime, which is which is typical. I was expecting it, but I was just... I got a little bit of baloney from my fleet manager also. I wasn't expecting it to be a, as, as bad as it was because it, it, it's, it's just a lot of reasons of why I left Prime that I kept hitting because I thought that things are actually going to get greater at Prime. One of my biggest ones, one of my biggest ones that's been bothering me the whole time while I've been leasing Let's hear Prime, this. I really didn't bring it the up. The big one. Was the fact that you have a fleet manager over you as you being owner as you being a owner of a business. Having a fleet manager? Wait. So you don't agree with having a fleet manager because you're an own owner of business? Well, okay, I, I can see where you're coming from, Rob, but remember, they're a training company. A lot of these guys coming out of uh, going to lease for the first time don't know diddly about trucking, barely know how to truck, and barely know how to drive a truck because they just went through training. So I think that's actually a good thing at a training company to have a fleet manager. That way they can keep an eye on you, give you some advice on what to do, all that, um, all that good stuff. Now, if you've been there a while, it got old, like it did with me, it did with you, um, having somebody holding your hand constantly, and that's when you move on. But I think for the get-go, I think it's a good idea to have that fleet manager. I don't really fault them for that, but I do think Prime needs to have in your file how long you've been there and whether you need nursing or holding hands or not, and free up some of the training on you you know i mean you've been there i've been there four years and i get treated like i just started so they need to figure that out i said it in my earlier videos and I, I will keep repeating that 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 i don't get that how is it that you have to have a fleet manager over your business like you are the one who running that business yeah uh it's you not them all it is is pretty much a business partner but <sighs> Practically, I will say that honestly over you. Reason why I will say you that got a cold there, Rob. It's up to them to send you loads. It's up to them to send you this load, that load. All you have to, all you have the right to do is reject or accept that load as a leasing operator. Yeah, you have the right to accept or reject that load. But what if he keeps sending right. loads like back to back to back that you don't like and all of this nature? Then you all of a sudden going to be sitting. That's where I've always said, you know, we should be able to tell them, hey, you know what? This is what I'm looking for. Can you get it for me or something really close to it? But instead, you have to turn down these loads because they won't call you. Where I'm at now, they'll, they'll send me a text. This is the mile, deadhead miles, loaded miles, how much it pays, when it picks up, when it delivers. Is, are you interested in that? If I say yes, boom, I'll get an email with the, the rate con on it. I'll print that out in my truck. I got myself a little printer so I can have a copy of it so I don't have to keep opening up the emails to find stuff. It's just printed right there. But yeah, that's what he's talking about. 
wasting the day trying to get a load the next day, which they have full control of. Yeah, and then if you turn down loads, I have a bud that turned down a good paying load going to some place he didn't want to go. And his fleet manager came back and said, okay, well, this is the load you're going to get because you're basically sales is punishing you for turning down that load. And whether they were or not, you should never tell a driver that because when he told me that, that, that was another reason why I'm, yep, I got to get out of here. Even though I wasn't the one being told that, I know they do that. When I did the ACE2 class, um, the, the trainer, the guy tra doing the ACE2 class said, if you turn down a bunch of loads, you are going to get put at the back of a list, or if not, if you turn down a bunch of loads. If you turn down loads that we think were good, paying, and you shouldn't, we will put you at the back of the list. Okay, I can see that for a point, but if you give me a load or two loads, and I say, look, man, I don't want to go to Washington, but you keep sending me loads going to Washington, that's on you. That ain't on me, okay? You should be at fault there, not punish me because you keep sending me loads that I, where I don't I already told you I don't want to go. Now you could say, hey, those are all the loads you, we got. So if you want to wait a while, we can see what's up or it might be tomorrow, then that's fine. But don't give me no BS about, yeah, okay, just continue, Ron. I don't know what was for y'all, the drivers at Prime, but for me at Prime, it's for some reason, it was loads like for, the, let me, for example, the winter season, I was doing TNT. The winter season, I don't go up to Washington or, Maine and all that. Oh, hell no. Like that. So I don't even care how much the load pay, honestly. So we was in Illinois, me and my last student. We was in, matter of fact, I'm going to tell the story. We took a load, a FedEx load from Oakland, California to Indiana, Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana for a Sunday early a.m. Um, appointment, which was fine. I, I, it was a drop and hook. We got there early, we delivered, and I told myself I was gonna sit here Sunday because I knew come Monday, the fresh start of a working weekday, um, lows will be strong coming out of here. And plus I'm in the plane. Okay, that's funny that you're saying that. Okay, here's the problem with sitting for a day. Now, funny thing is, is that's ex this is, what he's doing is exactly what we're doing today. It is Sunday, we were planning on going back on Sunday, and this morning when we got up, I thought to myself, wait a minute, Sunday is a horrible day to get a load. Um, it was horrible at Prime to get a load. It's horrible at the company I'm at now to try to get a load. And I'm like, I wonder if we're going to even be able to get a load. So I text them, said, okay, yeah, it's ready for a load. And they said, okay, they posted, they posted me up on the load board that the truck's available. And then they looked for loads. Well, after about an hour or so, I sent them a text and said, hey, uh, how's things looking? They said, look, David, there, there's a few loads that we just turned down, um, you know, a few offers and whatnot. They're just not paying enough. It's not worth it. And I said, um, uh, and then they said, you know, it's going to be tough uh, being it's a Sunday. And, you know, again, I've done, yeah, yeah. So I said, you know what? No big deal. We'll just go ahead and let's put us uh, put us for Monday morning and we'll start over Monday morning, which was good because we kind of had a couple of things we needed to do. And Melissa and I, we even talked about that. We should be doing Mondays to Mondays, Wednesdays to Wednesdays, rather than a Sunday to Sunday. That was bad. That was bad planning on our part. Because um, as, as we know, Sundays just don't work. So we're waiting for Monday now. Having said that, let me say this. Here's the problem. Bad pay for Sunday, good pay on Monday. You wait, you don't get paid Sunday because you don't run, and you get only a decent load on Monday. Bad pay Sunday, good pay Monday, decent load Monday. Now, this decent load, because you didn't work today, now drops down to bring this up. And now, next thing you know, it was not a very good paying load. So unless you know you're going to get that bomb, you might want to just take something decent on Sunday also. Just as my theory. Because you won't always get that high val out of there. Um, whenever I expected one, I never got one. When I didn't care, boom, high val. Indiana area, the FedEx area, and not even too far from Columbus, Ohio, where we normally pick up high, high valves or Plainville, Indiana, where we normally pick up high valves. So 
I'm waiting on these loads to come so we can get a nice hot valve coming out of here. So I'm actually, Hell I actually yeah. got the Indianapolis, Indiana Sunday about around 4 a.m. We delivered the load. I sat all day Sunday expecting to get one of those loads Monday. So Monday gets here, roll around. I'm getting all these bullcrap loads. And keep in mind, it's my last week. I'm getting all these bullcrap loads uh, going up to Washington. I, I, I don't want to go up to Washington because I don't take loads there. I'm getting these. Who wants to go to Washington solo, except Lucas? Solo loads. We had Did I say that? Lucas. We just actually got 34s in Oakland. So we're good on our clock. So, and I kept the nine loads. I'm like, why is it that I'm getting all these solo loads? And he was like, there's no loads in the area. Uh, by a show Come of hands, on. I'm just saying, like I'm teaching class. By a show of hands, how many people <laughs> believe that that's actually true? I bet nobody would raise oh, their hands. So yeah, no. you, I, I don't like this. That's another thing. I don't like the fact don't raise that when it comes to you denying a load, either you end up sitting or you're happening to wait several hours to get a new load to get another load. I don't like doing that. Um, yeah, I know. That's kind of like the whole being punished thing. As far as being at prime, um, let's see, other reasons at prime. I would say other reasons at prime, although 65, okay, that's a comfortable speed for prime, saves you a lot of money on fuel, but you have to keep in mind that you are paying that 1087 or 1000 12, 13, 14, 1500 bucks. So how much ever truck payment it costs each week, which you lease in that truck practically being yours at the end or some shit like that why is it that your truck is governed i understand it's a prime thing but come on you paying them you paying them well, weekly man. payments on that truck i'll tell you why there shouldn't be no governed speed on that truck you're paying it yeah i understand if it was in a contract rather you could have to whether rather you could agree to it or not rather you want your truck to be governed at 65 or whatever but why is your truck governed at 65 is a question Okay, good question, Rob. Three reasons. Let me give you three reasons. Number one is going to be fuel economy. You get great fuel economy running 65. Number two is going to be insurance. You're going to get better insurance not letting these uh, students uh, run wide open. And number three, safety. Safety with students new drivers i mean come on you want to put somebody who's never driven can barely drive a freaking four-wheeler and then they're going to drive a, a a semi truck you've seen some of these videos they flip them over for every which reason could you imagine having a student that likes to break at the last moment drop doing 70 75 into a clover leaf oh no i can't no thank you i don't understand um I know I might have some hatred comments. I'm not, I'm going to read the comments, but I'm going to fly past them like it ain't nothing. I don't care about these comments. There's a couple of the comments. Prime is a good starter company, but when you start to get a full understanding of the business, you will leave. They know that, and that is their format. I'm glad you are happy with you moving uh, and growing. Let's see, uh, Ben Ben says, you hit it right on, bro. Uh, those uh, were the same ex exact reasons I left. Wasting days of my life, fight with sales, gets old. Money is way greener on the other side. But even if money was the exact same, I'd leave again. The freedom to plan yourself around weather and stuff, too, is a, is a hunter. 100%. What's up, bro? Okay, looks good. Hate to see you had left just before I came to Prime, sir, but I do want to wish you great success and congratulations on even more endeavors moving on. Congratulations on your new truck. Great points. Prime is a good company, but once you get to see behind the curtain and experience some real freedom, it's very uh, nice. Congratulations. Okay, so I read a few. I read a few uh, comments. I read a few comments, and they all seem to be pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't have an attitude. I'm just simply making this video of, you know, was leaving Prime the right reason. But right now, I'm just giving reasons to why I left Prime and um, get it like that. So, uh, and, and here's the third reason. A lot of people, I don't care. A lot of people can hate me for this. They should uh -oh. say it shouldn't be all about the money since I'm enjoying what I'm doing. But, y'all, come on. Let, let's, let's speak facts here. 100% facts. 
in the end, we are all out here for the same thing, and that's to make money. Yes, exactly. I got a buddy who just always complains, oh, all you think about is money. Money is why I'm doing this. I'm not living in a little six by six box in prison with my wife because it doesn't pay well. I'm doing it because it's good money. I'm doing it for a set amount of time to stack cash and then move on. But yes, we do this for the money. If you're doing it for any other reason, you're crazy. Now, having said that, let me say this. I've been saying that too much. If you're a trainer, you better damn well have passion to train to be a trainer and not be doing it for the money because then you're doing it for the wrong reasons and you're going to be a shit trainer. So hopefully you're doing it because you have passion to teach and to move, uh, you know, help people get their CDLs. Now, given the fact that I've been out here at JB Hunt for about two weeks, my first week, I gross 87. My second week, I'm nice. coming up on. And my third week, I'm coming up on. So it's actually going pretty good. Um, my numbers are looking pretty good. I'm not complaining about it. 87 gross to the truck, I'll probably bring home like four or five K. What I was bringing home at Prime doing TNT. That's another thing. I did TNT at Prime. Sure, okay. I was making good checks. I believe the, the, the highest check I ever made doing TNT at Prime was like, 87 yep 87 take home was the highest i did now i just say there's potential that prime 87 take home what the hell did you just say i'm sorry i'm dealing with my new intro deal here 87 take home no 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 um i think you meant 87 gross as tnt which you are now making as a solo at jb so that you had to misspeak or what out not there there's yeah yeah no way because i don't even Melissa and i wasn't even bringing home 87 together we're putting our money together bringing home we were grossing plenty but we weren't bringing it home the reason why i came over here to jb hunt is because i'm making more money over here i'm actually making the same money i was making as a tnt trainer at prime versus being right on over here. I'm actually right on the same amount of money now I know, like I said, I know I might get a lot of hate, hatred. A lot of people, a lot of people say it's not about the money; it's about running your business and being able to have the freedom out here. But at the end of the day, it's always about knows the money. It's about the money. Like you can't. There's no way around it. Everybody knows at the end of the day is about the money. So yeah, always. I might get hate for that. So what? You know, it's it's. It makes no sense. People who get mad at me because I talk about how I'm doing something for money, that's never sat well with me because it's like, that's what I'm doing. Melissa told me today, she said something about, she's seen a meme or something, or I posted it, I can't remember, but you work to live, not live to work. And she says that I live to work. Something like that. It's about the money and that's another reason why i love prime i i did try out going solo at prime i i barely you ain't gonna make it so long. going solo at prime it's just that i mean you'll do all right but once reason, you're used to training money manager, i asked to be moved to a new fleet manager it didn't work out too good i didn't i didn't try to i'm not because you know me i'm not the one who really likes to fuss about things you know, I, I don't like the fuzz. I don't like to do all that. So they, they, they argue me down and say, why did she want to move fleet manager? I simply told them the reasons of why I wanted to move. And it was like, it, you had to go one step to this step, to this step, to this step. And I just got tired of it. So I said, you know what? I'll just keep him. I'll finish out my time here. Ah, that's too bad. So I think if I had just bit the bullet and changed fleet managers about a year ago, who knows? I might still be at Prime. Um, uh, me and my fleet manager disagreed and butted heads about a year ago. And I actually uh, got to the point where he asked me, what fleet manager do I want? It'll be easier if I pick one rather than them just randomly throw one at me. Um, it's easier to change a fleet manager. Hey, you know what? I would like to try this fleet manager type deal. But because I'm a team player, I decided to stay on that team and try to work it out. And I did that, but... Hmm. To come back to the topic that I think Prime, that I think leaving Prime was the right move for me. 
Yes, now I will say I'll give Prime their props because Prime is the reason why I have my CDL today. Same here. I, really do, I, I got really it because of Prime. Props, I really will recommend Prime to anybody who goes to Prime. Prime is a good company. Prime is a great company, by far a great company, but it's just, it's more, it's more to it than just Prime. It's a bunch of more companies out there. There's been a lot of people leaving Prime here lately. It's, it's, I don't know what the trend is going on. I believe it's because they got rid of yeah, I mean, there's a lot more to leaving Prime than just leaving for the money. But, you know, that's Trucker Rob right there, guys. This, I'm going to go ahead and kill the video here. Um, there's, uh, you got the gist of it, why he left Prime. Sounds like he's doing all right. Sounds like he's doing all right. So, hey, you know what? We got a Facebook page. Trucking with David H. Yes, Prestige. I did it. Wait, is it Prestige? Prestige, Provolone, Popcorn. Uh, anyways, I, I don't remember. We also have an Instagram by at David H6571. Come join us. Remember, share these videos, throw them up on your Facebook page, put them in your TikTok. I don't care. Do something with them to make them uh, get out there so they can be seen. Melissa's in the uh, bedroom. Otherwise, I would say like, comment, subscribe. Oh, shit. She was there. She heard. Yeah, I hope you guys heard that. Right on. <laughs> oh, sweet.